If it's in your newsfeed, it's in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. In the feed today, P.F. Chang's offering a different gift for Mother's Day. Like, what's the cliche Mother's gift? Mother's Day gift you end up getting or giving? Um, is it flowers? I think flowers is probably the one, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, how about a fortune cookie flower bouquet? That's cute. For Mother's Day. $40 bouquet. It has 12 fortune cookies. I mean, what? folks. No. <laughs> no. How about you get like, uh, you know, you go in, you get the cheapest thing on the menu 12 times, and then you get 12 fortune cookies for free. Yeah. Usually they're throwing more than one. Right. Unbelievable. But the uh, the messages inside are special for Mother's Day. It says, you're my favorite, or don't tell dad, but you're my favorite. And unlike fortune cookies, my love for you is unbreakable. Nah. <laughs> and I love P.F. Chang's, but nah. Chang's is pretty good. It is really, pretty really good. good. Um, but yeah, that's a little... Uh, it's a nice monotony breaker. Yeah. Crummy gift. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we go to uh, Bianca Patron. This girl's from Youngstown, Ohio, graduating from college before she graduates from high school. Hmm. I, I, like, I thought you got to like skip high school to go to college, but no, she's like, I want to go to college at the same time as high school because hmm. she's a mad woman. 17-year-old receiving her bachelor's degree in business administration from Youngstown State University. In the next few weeks, she started taking college classes at 13 years old. She will graduate before her high school graduation. In same. How, some people are just made different. Yeah, like, did you honest. ever in your mind when you were 13 say, you know what I'd like to do? Also college. <laughs> no. 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 Unbelievable. Yeah, but you're right. Some people are honestly just extremely smart. And there, Jaden had a girl, I want to say he was in, in fifth grade and she was supposed to be like in second, but she was taking like fifth grade class. No way. She was so, so smart. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like I wish, I was pretty, you know, pretty sharp, but not super sharp, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I would have loved, if, is there an accelerated yeah, program? Can I get, can this I get out of here by 14? That would yeah. be amazing. Yeah. Employees at an Oakland, California McDonald's are striking due to a critter infestation. Managers allegedly threatened to fire workers for snitching about rodents being at the restaurant. One employee says there are rodent droppings everywhere. If you know the whole situation, uh, you're ready to vomit. I can mm -hmm. see it in your face. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the uh, Oakland's uh, stadium there, the uh, I forget what it's called, mm -hmm. but uh, it's a disaster. Flooding constantly and rodents everywhere. This yeah. rat infestation. There. And so now Oakland, who like can't hold on to a team, can't hold on to a Walmart, and now the McDonald's. Have, it's like it's almost like the uh, the plague. Yeah, gross, it's over gross, in Oakland right now. Very very sad. A California mother recently left her triplets at a cart at Costco. Store employees kept an eye on the babies while she shopped. No, that's <laughs> crazy. Mother says she occasionally does this. The witness says a baby seemed perfectly happy and content in the cart. Like, but I just know, like, all right, it's a big cart. Yeah. But I know there's, like, room for legs for two. Mm -hmm. For two kids, which is amazing. That's very wide. Mm -hmm. But there's no room for three. Hey. How old are these triplets? Are they babies? Wow. I don't know. Would you ever do that? Hey, like, hey. Like, it's just tough enough, like, leaving them at the, the like, the uh, random, like, you know, you're going gambling at station casinos. Here, look at them while I play some slots. <laughs> right. That's tough enough, even if they're licensed. But, like, hey, let me leave them with the Costco employees. No. No. They just grab a receipt and go out. No, no worries. Put a smile face <laughs> but on smiley, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the the smiley face. Uh -huh. Smiley face on all of them. Finally, a KFC worker from Marysville, Ohio, recently discovered $12,000 in the restaurant's bathroom, which is uh, wow. amazing. It's probably more than the KFC made that day. Wow. This follows a similar $25,000 discovery at a theater Days prior, same town. What? The origin of the money remains a complete mystery. Police are exploring potential leads with the Secret Service. So, like, maybe it's a money drop for something? What? I know, right? Hey, uh, KFC worker, let me break this down to you, okay? You find $12,000 at the in the bathroom there at the KFC, you didn't find twelve thousand dollars <laughs> in the bathroom of the KFC. You fool. Karma. No, oh. no, oh, there's man. no karma. No, sorry, no. Who breaks twelve thousand dollars into a KFC? <laughs> Barely bring twelve dollars in.